Rude cops often think they can get away with anything but what happens when they have to face the consequences of their wrong actions. Here are four different cases where rude cops got what they deserve. I, I hear you, man. I, I'm, I'm, I, but, I understand. Uh, I don't, one, I don't appreciate the attitude. <laughs> Two, I get it. You're upset. Nobody likes cops pulling, them, pulling up on them. Nobody likes it. Okay. But you know you did wrong. You know you're not supposed to cut through the parking lot. And instead of being like... Oh yeah, I messed up. Sorry, it won't happen again. You want to sit here and go back and forth? This is Officer Scott Harrell of the Texas City Police Department. On April 19th, 2023, Officer Harrell pulled up to a gas pump behind citizen Christopher Schull and told him he was speeding through the gas station's parking lot at Bucky's in Texas City. The officer also said that due to Mr. Schull's speeding, a white truck nearly met an accident. Here's how it all went down. Don't walk out to my car, please. Don't walk out to my car, please. Hey man, you can't drive through the parking lot like that. You got your uh, driver's license insurance? Any weapons in the car I need to worry about? Is there any particular reason why you felt you needed to come through the parking lot like that? I didn't think I did anything wrong. I just came over to get gas. You were speeding and you cut through parking spaces. You know you can't do that. I didn't think I was doing anything, man. Just, I mean, you walked around. Was coming to get gas. Yep. Oh, are we going to go back and forth or are you just going to... You asked me a question. You want me to answer it or not? I'm not... If anything, I thought I was going even slower than normal. No, sir. You normally, really... people don't even park where you park, and that's the direct path to the gas pumps. You no, almost no. hit that car that was turning right there. I was watching, man. As I soon as you cut in front anybody. of me like I, that, I was like okay. looking, and I watched it happen. So I come here every day. There's almost never, ever, ever anybody. So, yeah, I go through there because it's the straight path from the entryway to here, which is what you're going to see everybody else do it. But I mean, you know, I, I hear you, man. I, I got it. To you, it looked like I was going fast. To me, I thought I was going even slower than normal because I didn't want to get too close to you. Thank you. Okay, sit tight for one second. You can fill up your car. Go ahead and fill up your car. Okay. So. Officer Harrell threatens to issue a citation to Mr. Schull for disregarding a traffic control device and says that he would have given Schull a ticket if he hadn't already run out of them. However, according to Texas law, Officer Harrell is in the wrong here. Since the law of following traffic control devices applies to public places, and Mr. Schull was in a private parking space. I'm not kidding to you either, man. I come here every day, dude. I'm not. I send pictures of my wife, the price of the gas here, every right. day when I come through. Okay, look, I'm not going to write you tickets, but the only reason I'm not writing you tickets is because I'm out of tickets right now. But otherwise, you would be receiving a citation. For what? Okay. Would be the citation, I'm just curious. Just regarding traffic control device. On private property? Yes. Okay. You still, you still can't do that. It's still illegal. Okay. So, I'm not going to write you a ticket. Um, I, I hear you, man. I, I'm, I'm, I, I but, understand. Uh, I don't, one, I don't appreciate the attitude. <laughs> Two, I get it. You're upset. Nobody likes cops pulling, them, pulling up on them. Nobody likes it. Okay. But you know you did wrong. You know you're not supposed to cut through the parking lot. And instead of being like... Oh yeah, I messed up. Sorry, it won't happen again. You want to sit here and go back and forth with me? There's a lot better things than, than this to be doing for you. Man. You're right. I was people. working on a you report. You can be over here. And the, I mean, there's people right now running. You want to go to jail? You want to go to jail? So you want to go to jail? You could go to jail for this. You can do what you want to do. I can't stop. I don't want to take you to jail. You no. Know? That's that is definitely a waste of my time. Okay, but the attitude is not necessary. Officer Harrell says that he's going to write Mr. Schull a ticket because one, I don't appreciate the attitude. This has to be the first instance in police history where a cop is writing a ticket to the suspect because he doesn't like his attitude. Later on, Mr. Schull tells Officer Harrell that he is going to look up the law on following traffic rules on private property, but Mr. Harrell doesn't seem interested. That's on your part, sir. I haven't been rude to you at all. I will get in trouble. You go file a complaint, get me in trouble, no, write me up. Yeah, I'm not worried about that. Really? All right, well... I'll make sure that I'm there all the time. If I see it happen again, then okay. we'll go from there, okay? Okay. All right. I'll look that law off on private property, too. I don't believe you'd have the authority to do anything here on this, on this park, parking lot like that. I could also take but, you to jail for Class B reckless driving, because you did almost hit that car. I didn't almost hit anybody. I was nowhere near. There's, there's cameras everywhere. You can do what you want to do, Harold. I can't stop you. If you want to be this way, then that's up to you. I'm trying to be reasonable. Are you person. having a bad day, I, sir? I is that, there a reason why you're not? Like I'm this? having a bad day because you're, have I raised because my because voice you're doing you this all? to me. I think this whole thing is ridiculous. What do you specifically do you think is ridiculous? That we're even talking about nothing happened. And here we are talking, and you're threatening to take me to jail. No, I'm and so I shouldn't be getting upset. Awesome. I don't call it a threat, sir. It's no, it's a threat. It's a, so that is a threat. You're threatening me under color of law now to, to take something on private property, law? which I don't believe 
you even have the authority to do it. It's a dictionary term, to... sir. Okay. It comes from black laws. No, it's dictionary. not. It's a class A misdemeanor for you to threaten to arrest me over something that you know is not really true. But that's what, okay. What, what's the penal code on that, sir? Trust me. That's okay. Trust that's okay. you. Okay. Mr. Schull and Officer Harrell fall into an altercation. And Mr. Schull accuses the officer of using a color of law. The term color of law is often used to describe the abuse of power under the guise of state authority and is therefore illegal. Instead of trying to de-escalate the situation, Officer Harrell then arrests Mr. Schull and continues to rebuke him saying, you forced my hand at this point and I know you're going to go to the police department and file a complaint on me. I don't feel like we are. I feel like this is, uh, <laughs> this is, this is a problem. How is, I feel a, like how is it a problem? I how feel like you're going problem? to continue to, to commit these behaviors that are unsafe and put people at risk. So you don't feel like you did anything wrong. something that's possible they may do in the future. So we're now, now we're playing John Club Van Damme future cop, but you're gonna, you need to stop me from something I may do in the future. That's now your position. What is Again. the law designed to do, sir? Oh, I, I know you it's want designed compliance. To stop I know, from doing I know you want voluntary compliance. I know you want voluntary compliance. Okay, go ahead and put your hands on the Wow. Uh, oh, injury like, on my left arm. Uh, um, well, I mean, I don't. Would you like two sets of handcuffs? No, I'm, my head hurts. Yeah, not. Yeah. Well, sir, I'm concerned that you're going to continue to do this unsafe behavior. So, it didn't have to go this way. No, it never did. None of this ever had needed to happen. I don't believe. Okay. Yeah. I disagree with you. Sir. Okay, I know. I mean, you, you wanted to sit here and argue with me about what I observed with my own eyes. I didn't Not think me. I was close you to didn't hit, what, no, you're talking you about the white truck. Vehicle. Yes, you even know what truck I was talking about. Yeah. Okay, so so what are we going to do about the I park? I didn't think I was going that you, you certainly were, sir. You definitely were. Can we back this down, dude? Can we cool off here? Please. I'm sorry. You, I will. You, I will. You have forced my hand at this I point. I will. Because if I don't go and, and, and see will. this through to its conclusion, I know you're going to go to the police department and file a complaint on me. Now the complaint's that, not going to do anything because I have it all on video. Everything is recorded. I don't talk to anyone in the public unless I have my camera. On. He came through the parking lot and cut through all the spaces. He came through so fast and whooped into here. And there was a white truck. The white truck had to slam on its brakes. So I come over here. I was just going to be like, hey man. Chill out. Like, chill out, don't be like that. But he wanted to go back and forth and argue with me and give me all kinds of stuff. I didn't have any tickets and I didn't grab a rider this morning. So I was like, man, look, this, it doesn't have to go this way. He kept going back and forth, back and forth. So I was like, all right, let's go. You have a rider? Uh, I got uh, paper tickets. You got paper tickets? That's what I grabbed. Okay. Yeah. That's what okay. We're going to do this a different way. So the other officer has a ticket book he's going to let me use. We're going to receive, be receiving the citation, okay? Because I think going to jail is a bit excessive. But, well, I agree with you, but I didn't have another option. I don't have another ticket book, and I don't have a ticket writer with me. So we're going to do it that way, okay? Mm -hmm. Step out for me. The press is that scar, and it hurt. Okay, I see you sign right here. It's not a hey, mission. Repeat, Mr. Scholl is no longer in custody. Free to go, sir. Officer Scott Harrell was terminated soon after this body cam was made public. The police chief also issued a statement saying, We want to be clear that the actions of this individual do not represent the hard work and dedication of the men and women who proudly wear the uniform of the Texas City Police Department. But if you think Officer Scott Harrell was out of place, wait till you see what Officer Bethany Guerriero did with an innocent civilian. Come in, how you doing? You can dodge pockets for me? I'm not the one to dodge. Sir, I don't keep your hands out of your pockets. Relax. People find I out haven't done a crime. Don't talk to me like Listen that. Listen to me. I don't know you. You Listen, can put that down. I don't down. know you. You're the one with the gun. Why Get down you? on the ground now. Get what down the on the ground. Is this? Get down on the ground. What the this is Officer Bethany Guerriero of the Palm Beach Gardens, Florida, who was supposed to de-escalate a situation, but instead of doing that, she arrested the wrong individual. On May 9th, 2023, a dispute erupted at a Palm Beach Gardens, Florida apartment complex. Resident Ryan Gold was swimming when another resident, Anna Ivanova, arrived at the swimming pool and asked him to change direction. Mr. Gold did not pay heed to Ivanova's request and continued swimming. After a collision and verbal altercation, Ivanova called her husband, Benedetto Salvia, who upon arrival revealed a concealed firearm. Gold reported the incident to 911 and awaited police in the parking lot. Officer Bethany Guero of the Palm Beach Gardens Police Department responded to the scene. How you doing? You can't dodge pockets for me? I'm not the one to dodge. 
Sir, I don't keep your hands out of your pockets. Read the phone I down. haven't done a crime. Don't talk to me Listen like that. Listen to me. I don't know you. You Listen, can put that down. I don't know you. You're the one with the gun. Why? Get down on the ground now. Get what down the on the ground. Is this? Get down on the ground. What the? F I told you not That's to reach for anything. I haven't committed a crime. You don't have any Keep your hands out to your side. I haven't now. committed a crime. You now you put your hands behind your back. You can't defeat me for what? Yes, I can. For what? I don't know you. I don't know you. You're the ones with guns. Yeah, you're arresting me for nothing. I'm detaining you right That's now. That's fine, you're detaining me for what crime? Because you don't want to listen. That's not a crime. Your f are your body cams on? Yes, they sure Good. are. Good. Good. I called you guys for help because this guy's brandishing a gun at me. Officer Guerriero tells Ryan that she's here for a gun, but doesn't understand that Ryan is not the one with the gun, despite Ryan telling her multiple times that he is unarmed. Instead, she pins him to the ground and tells him that he should have listened to her. Sit down! I didn't say get up! I said sit out! Who the f is this? Where's Relax. your supervisor? I'm He's getting you. See how she's talking? Way. I haven't Relax. done anything. You don't Why am I listen. in handcuffs? I don't care! You're, You're not my mom! Because I'm coming You're not my here dad. for a gun! That's fine, I don't have a gun. I haven't committed a crime. Do, when I told you to keep your come? hands out of your pockets, You're you not did my, it! I didn't commit a crime! You you don't get to tell me what to do! Yes, I do! No, you don't! Why are you yelling at me? Because I have every Who right to right you? now! Who are you? What's your badge number? 321 Guerrero! G-U-E-R-R-I-M-H-E, you, you spell it right! You, if you're this scared... Of a guy in a swimsuit. I've been here for 20 years. You're terrified of a guy in a swimsuit. I didn't do anything. You can shut your mouth. She now. just they just detained me. I explained. There's no gun. That guy I don't has detain a gun. anybody for no reason. Then what reason? Because I What crime did I commit for you, you to detain me? Can you shut your mouth so I can explain it to you? Are you in charge of this lady? Why am I in handcuffs on the ground? Can you, are you a yeah. supervisor? No, he's not. Can someone explain I why I'm handcuffed can you on the ground? shut your mouth no. so I can talk to you? Look at you. <laughs> You're furious. What did I do? You did not listen. You're not my boss. Listen to I me. I don't need to listen to you. Yes, you do. No, I don't. She doesn't right. get to detain me. Yes, pull I her do. Gun, pull her gun on me. Because when put you put your hands in your pocket and I didn't commit a crime. I don't care. You're that terrible. Terrified? Listen. You shouldn't be a cop if you're that terrified. I've been here for 20 years, yeah. punk. Yeah, yeah. Here, here. Go somewhere real. You're terrified. Palm Beach you know Garden. Are you a favor? supervisor? Can you ask this lady why I'm in handcuffs? Tell her what crime I I've committed. I keep trying to tell you. Go ahead. What crime? Talking over me. What crime? I get called because crime. someone is. What's suspicion? Yeah, you don't need to be in crime. Yes, you I do. don't need to, to detain me. You, you need suspicion of a crime. No, you do she not. Yes, you do. You don't know the law. Please you explain not, it to him. You cannot just go around you, detaining you, random you calm people. Down? Can you calm down for can, a second? I'm in handcuffs. Can you calm down? down? Obviously, we're not getting anywhere. Up? I'll calm down if I can stand up. What I'm in charge, not you. No, you're not. And you blue nail polish. Cute. Okay. Yo, 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 I'm not going to do it. Down. What did I do? Down, all right? What? Right now, all I need you to do is keep your mouth shut. Yeah, that's, I don't care. I'm not going to do it. Arrest me. You are right Yeah, I want to. Okay, arrest me. You're Go ahead, take me to jail. Go ahead, take me to jail. Take me to jail right now. Take me to jail. Oh, I will. Do it. I'm ready. Me too. Okay, I'm ready. Let's go. What's your name, dude? Excuse me. What's your name? What's your Allow name? me to stand What's up. What's your name? No. Negative. Doesn't work that way. Okay. Tell, Tell me what crime I'm here for. It's fine. It's fine. Don't worry about it. You are. Already. You are. You're under arrest. For what crime? You have to give your name. You're already under arrest. That's fine. What crime though? Don't worry. She already told you. She's already got. Resisting you. arrest is a secondary charge. That's a secondary it's charge. It's not a secondary. Then take me to jail. I'm you are going to jail. Don't worry about it. I got you. Let's go. Officer Guerriero then narrates the incident to her supervisor, telling him what happened. She is also seen interrogating Anna Ivanova's husband, who originally exhibited the firearm and is the one who should have been arrested. Anna Ivanova's husband, Mr. Salvia, states that Ryan was being aggressive, although the body cam footage shows that Mr. Salvia was the one who started the altercation, lifted his shirt to show his firearm, and was clearly in the wrong. He came out here, me and, and Strezlecki roll up. He's got his hands in his pocket and I go, Bo, take your hands out of your pocket, right? And then when I, he didn't need it, he goes, he goes and pulls the phone out and he goes to put it back. I said, keep your hands out of your pocket and I drew down on him. I drew down on him. Okay. That guy. Has anybody talked to... Not yet, because Mike came okay. running out, Joe went running out. Let's I'm over here literally by myself with this f***ing guy. All right. Are you okay to go talk to her? Yes. Me, so I had to call my husband. You wish to tell me what happened here today so I can have a better understanding? Yeah, I mean, my, my wife called me. She called me and said that there was a guy harassing her at the pool. Okay, was it that guy, guy over there? Yeah. Okay. Um, and so I just ran over here. He was obviously a lot bigger than me. I didn't, you know, want to get involved. I was trying to pull my wife away. And she just got closer. At what point did the gun become involved? Well, how did, how did he know that you were armed? Um, 
I'm not sure. Uh, you told that other officer that you put your hands up like this so that my wife said this. Um, I know it didn't come out of, of the ulcer or anything like that. No, I didn't um, say it came out, but how was he able to know that you were armed? Because he called us and said that you were armed. I mean, if I lift my shirt up, you could see it. Okay. But, so did you want him to see that you were armed? Did you tell him you were armed? Um, I don't No, I don't think so. No. Okay. So we spoke with that in gentleman. Okay, I spoke to him. I'm trying to understand exactly what happened again. Can you explain to me from your perspective what happened? Oh, exactly. He started screaming. He started getting closer. He started pawing up his fist. So he's walking he towards you? Yes. Okay. My wife got closer to him and I tried to insert myself in between them. Okay. Um, so at that point we were maybe like four or five feet apart. Okay. At what point in time did you pull up your shirt? Somewhere in there. I really am not comfortable saying anymore. I'm not, I'm so hazy in my memory, but I don't want to say the wrong thing. Um, I, can I, can I wait until I have a lawyer? Sure, that's absolutely. We just wanted, I mean, to, we just wanted to give I... you the opportunity because we're going to look at those cameras and we just yeah. want to make sure that what we're going to watch mm -hmm. matches what you're saying. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, I'm telling you, I, I lifted my shirt up. At any point during your encounter with him, did you inform him that you were armed? I mean, I think that was informing him that I was armed. By lifting up your shirt? Yes. Okay, we'll leave it there. Oh, I mean, I'm, I'm, we'll, we'll leave it there. You already asked for more. We'll leave it there. Yeah, I was going to say either you hold him or you file, but we have a weapon and it was used in a crime. Well, we'll take the weapon. What are you going to take the weapon for? Right now, pending the outcome of the investigation. So then I, I would go with that then, take him for the resistor down, and then you can let him know, hey, we're taking your firearm, um, pending the outcome of this investigation, but... I, I, I feel like at this point, they both deserve to go, and I'll tell you why. Ryan Gold was then taken to the Palm Gardens County Jail, where he was kept for several hours. It was only when another officer reviewed the footage and noticed that Mr. Gold was innocent that he was let go without any criminal charges. On May 10, 2023, an investigation was opened on Officer Bethany Guerriero for her actions in this controversial call. It was concluded she violated several department policies and she was quickly terminated. Yes, we told you that already. I didn't see your badge! Okay, well, we told you, right? You we all have badges? It's yeah. not our fault you didn't look, man. Oh, that, that, that. We identified Security ourselves. guards say their no. police officers all we the time. We identified ourselves as Albuquerque so. police. We Let's go ahead and get them to talk uh, to you. stood up and searched. The reason to talk to you was they didn't want you in there no, uh, no more, okay? So we have the reason. We asked you your name. You didn't give us your name. This is Officer Kenneth Skeens, a police officer with the Albuquerque Police Department who was seen arresting a 53-year-old mentally disabled man. On the 19th of August, 2022, Officer Kenneth Skeens approached a man trying to pay for a bicycle with cash splayed out in front of him in the self-checkout aisle at Target. Little did the officer know, this encounter was going to cost him a lot.
Upon seeing that the man had difficulty using the self-checkout, Officer Skeens asked him to gather his money and move out of the store. The man, clearly rattled by this encounter, is seen saying, it just took me a little while. The officer then threatens him with charges of criminal trespassing. While the visibly shaken man calls 911, he complains about security mishandling him, giving the impression that he isn't aware police officers are detaining him and not mall security. Right, you got an idea on you, man? I'm not giving you any idea. You don't I'm identify yourself under arrest, correct? Okay? Which is it going to be? You're not police. Yes, we are. Yes, we're we're out here. No, you're not. You're security. No, no. You got your pen and pen? Yeah, I do. Okay. So what's your name, man? No, you're business. All right, then you're under arrest. Go ahead, put your hands behind your back. You're refusing to identify yourself, correct? Who are you calling, man? You ain't even. You ain't even He's calling call 911. That's what he said, anyway. Say, so, yeah, just go ahead and put him in handcuffs, because he's refusing to identify himself. Okay, hold on. Uh, I was just paying. I was just having my Mars stuff TV. locked in, man. My family pack. Uh, and the security cars came, and I, I didn't take more time than anyone else. The other ones before me. So now you're going to be charged, okay, with concealing identity, resisting officers, okay? No, no, I. And you're going to be trespassing. So you can never come back here again, okay? Yeah. Stand up. No, that's not right. I was just paying my things. Henry's and I, I didn't know you were. You were. Are you a police officer? Yes, we told you that already. I didn't see your badge. Okay, well, we told you, right? You we all have badges? It's yeah. not our fault you didn't look, man. Oh, that, 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 the we security guards say they're no. police officers. We identified the time. ourselves as Albuquerque so, police. We let's go ahead and get them to talk uh, to you. stood up and search. The reason to talk to you was they didn't want you in there no, oh, no more, okay? So we have the reason. We asked you your name. You didn't give us your name. That's what was the reason? They didn't want you there, and they have that right as the business not to want you there anymore. Okay? So what you need to do, we're going to help you stand up, we're going to put you in that patrol unit over there, okay? Sound good? No, it don't sound well, good. Well, that's what's going to happen. Hey, go, 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 go. I didn't do nothing. Come on. Go stand up. and stand up, man. Take a step for me and stand up. No, because, because, because I didn't do nothing. 911, help me, please. No one's on the phone, man. I think there are police officers right there. No. They, 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 I, they, 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 I didn't see their red. I didn't know they are police officers. Well, everything's on camera, just so you know. Everything is being recorded by our on-body recording devices, okay? So it's going to show that we identified ourselves as Albuquerque police. We told you that why they didn't want you in there anymore became very uh, resistant in the store and out no, here. No, I didn't care. Okay, sir. Well, you know what? I'm done explaining. When you, when no, you, when you I'm done explaining to you. When you have That's fine. Me, I, I, I'm done explaining to you. That's fine. Here. You're under arrest. Uh, because I didn't think you were. No, they, 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 were, they were my bags, even my own. Before the man's phone call concludes, the officers arrest him and tell him that he's going to be charged with concealing identity and resisting arrest. Pick up, pick up my, my, my papers. Yeah, right? we will take them out, man. Go ahead and take a step. Okay, pick, up. pick them up. Put your feet in. Don't catch a felony charge by hitting me or anything. Step in. But I didn't do anything wrong. All I do is doing it was paying for my things. Yeah, just, and you, and you had to cut off one of my fanny packs, you know. It was so hard it is to get my money out. And I was trying to get my money out and I got it all out. Kenneth Skeens, the primary officer in the incident, was charged with unlawful arrest and immediately fired. A criminal information charges Skeens with false imprisonment and perjury, which are fourth degree felonies, and filing a false police report and battery, which are misdemeanors. But if you think Officer Skeens crossed his constitutional limits, you're not ready to see the blatant racial profiling done by Officer Ronald Kurzaya. 41, I'm gonna hold on that exit. Responding units, if you're coming off price, I want you to come in that entrance and hold. Put your hands up! 
One at gunpoint. Step out. I work here. You work here? I was kicking the door closed, man. Okay, put, turn around. I work here. That's fine. On, man. You don't Step this way. Me. Hey, listen up. to me. Listen. Okay? I got my hand. I up. am responding to somebody with a firearm who matches your description. Right. You understand that? Come here. I got my hands up, man. Stand Take back. the gun off. For real, I got my hands up. Take Where's your ID at? No, you don't get to tell me what to do. I'll Where's your here. ID at? Take the gun off me, man. This is Officer Ronald Kurzaya, who on August 29th, 2020, pulled a gun on an unarmed black hotel employee, Travonyai Kumpian, without any probable cause. Kurzaya responded to a call to the Tempe department requesting that two people suspected of engaging in illegal activities at Hawthorne Suites in Tempe, Arizona be removed from the premises. Sean Hoover, the general manager of Hawthorne Suites, saw a white couple smoking something in the stairwell and asked them to leave. He said the man pulled out a gun before they left. Hotel employee, Kumpian, followed the couple to be sure that they left the property. When Officer Kurzaya arrived on the scene, he was seen repeatedly asking whether the suspect was white or black. Hey, sir, how we doing? We had a good hold on this. Some guy just pulled a gun out on us. I've got a 417 George here. I'm gonna need some additional units. Manager's advising that this male subject here just pulled a firearm on him. Where is he now? White male, black male, what do we got? Is he a white male, a black male? Come on! White male, uh, he's gonna be wearing a uh, he's gonna be, black shirt, tan pants. He's gonna be coming down the staircase and exit out that door right there. Tempor. Um, he's probably gonna be poking out on the west exit. He's walking out now. Get inside now. Get the out. Forty-one. I'm gonna hold on that exit. Responding units, if you're coming up, Price, I want you to come in that entrance and hold. Put your hands up. One at gunpoint. Step out. I work here. You work here? I was kicking the door closed, man. Okay. Put. Turn around. I work here. That's fine. On, man. You don't Step this way. Me. I got hey, listen up. to me. Listen. Okay. I got my hand. I up. am responding to somebody with a firearm who matches your description. Right. You understand that? Come here. I got my hands up, man. Stand Take back. the gun off. Me. For real, I got my hands up. Take Where's your ID at? No, you don't get to tell me what to do. I'll Where's your ID at? Take the gun off me, man. No. Where your supervisor at? You gonna shoot me? I'll no. Be another person on the news? Get on your knees. I didn't do nothing Shut to you. Shut the with that on your knees. All right, I didn't do nothing to you. Remember this, I need your badge number and your name. You'll get everything you need. Yeah, put, need put everything on the ground. I didn't do nothing to you. I got my hands up and I work here. Go call the manager. 41, where are my other units at? Just hang tight, okay? okay but this ain't, I'm t I work here. All you gotta do is call the manager and take the Who's your off. manager? Stop Sean telling me Hoover. what to do. Sean Hoover, take Okay, the what is your here. name? Trey. The officer points his gun at Cumpian, despite the hotel manager telling him that the suspect was a white male with black pants, a description that Mr. Cumpian clearly did not match. When Officer Kurzaya confirms that Mr. Cumpian is indeed an employee of the hotel, he is allowed to go. 41, can we get somebody to get the complainer on the line and find out if there's an employee here by the name of Trey? You don't got to hold no gun. My hands are up. I'm not a threat to you. Are you a cop? I'm not a threat to you. Are you a cop? I'm not a threat to you. You don't tell me what a threat, a threat to me to is. You don't yeah. know. Just because you're a cop don't mean you can hold a gun at somebody whenever you get good and damn ready. I put my hands up and I'm When not I'm responding to somebody with a firearm, I can do what I need to to stay up. safe and go home to my family. Do you understand that? My hands are up. I have somebody on the phone right now with Sean trying to confirm if you're an employee or not. I'm as soon as I verify that, you can go and then you can get whatever information you need. Do you understand that? It's crazy, huh? Hey, can you record this? He steadily got his gun on me and I got my hands up. I'm steadily recording got his gun too. On me and I got my hands up. I know I work here, but he steadily got his gun. He's That's steadily, fine, just stay back. I got my hands up on the ground. He still got a gun pointed on me. Anybody come Did up? Did he verify there? that somebody by the name of Trey works here? Get out of here, Trey. Yeah, thank you. You can stand by in the lobby. If you need all my information, I'll be more than happy to give it to you. Have a great afternoon. Hey, if we have Sean on the line, can you give me any more intel on if this guy exited yet or not? I exited the building to stand on the door and Sean was watching him on video. Yeah, I need at least one additional to come to the lobby and, and uh, meet up with Hoover. And then I need... Stop right there. I've got another one to gumball. Get your out of here now! I've got one fleeing back inside. 
Hispanic or white male, approximately 30 years old, black bandana, white t-shirt, gray shorts. Stop right there. Me? Where did he go? Where the f did he go? I ain't got nothing to do with that man. Where is he? I ain't got nothing to do with me. No it. So why is you talking to me like that? God, get the out of the way. I'm not go. Out of the way. I can't go. You can now. The officer is then seen running here and there to find the armed suspect without any success. I'm just inside the west entrance. I don't know where the hell he went. He's good. Get him out. Where did he go, Sean? Jesus Christ. The guy with the gun. Where the hell did he go? He walked outside. Jesus Christ. Sean just told me that he went back inside. He may have popped out the main entrance. He wants to get out of there. Which way did he go? I showed you. And why do you have my employee a black male at gunpoint? He's clearly not white. Somebody else could talk to Sean. The manager is explaining that he may have fled out the east entrance now, but he doesn't. Hi. Hi. Uh, my camera can't go on mute, so I'm going to turn it off. The Tempe Police Department soon launched an internal investigation to determine whether Officer Kurzaya was in the wrong. Ronald Kurzaya, now a former police officer, resigned more than a year after the city released body camera video of the incident, which went viral on social media. Kurzaya also voluntarily relinquished his police license to avoid a potential mark on his record. It's reassuring to see that some rude and cocky officers do face consequences, but it also raises questions about the number of such incidents that remain hidden from public view. If you enjoyed this video, let me know in the comments section and don't forget to subscribe. Goodbye.